Hello, this is Uncle Jim. I need to test these before they get dark. I got sidetracked with the last video, checking the m 44 Magnum, m style, whatever. So, I loaded up some 44 Russian. The max heavy bullet in the book is 245 grain. This is a 257 grain, and I've gone heavier than that. And I'm giving Winchester 231 one more chance. Because in 44 Special, I had unburnt powder, I had terrible chrono, chrono numbers, and it was just bad. But I want to keep trying the Winchester 231 in the Russian this time, because I always have it in a, a thrower somewhere. So I'll put a black sock over the thrower, it's sealed, it's just like being in the bottle, it's marked, and it's just too easy. Right now I could just check out a bunch of these, it's already set for this load. If not, I'll just skip it and go back to Red Dot and other powders unique and stuff like that. Uh, this is for the lever action to be quiet in dispatch of things without making noise. And so I decided to make Russian and for less uh, airspace in the shell. So now we got this. Hopefully we don't have unburnt powder. Now I did test three rounds a couple days ago and not only am I using a heavier bullet uh, that's in the manuals I was using more of a powder charge <laughs> and so that's bad doing both like that is bad but I fart around with a lot of suppressor loads nothing's ever in the manual and that's just how I roll. So you just got to be careful. Use your chronograph, check your primers, and work your way up. Well, now we're up because this is even a stiffer charge beyond max in the book with a lighter bullet. But we're using a uh, you know, heavy-duty lever action. It can handle it. As a matter of fact, I don't have any 44s that are light-duty. Red Hawk revolvers, contender, and lever actions. They're all very strong. So I tested three rounds with a even heavier bullet than this with a stiffer than max charge and the primers were perfect I actually got very minimal uh, unburnt powder and this is old powder I'm trying to use this powder up it's ancient so let's see what happens before it gets dark I'll get the chronograph out and we'll shoot it in the lever action. Uh, I'm trying to stay subsonic and quiet with the 16 inch barrel uh, for suppressed. And the other neat thing is we talked earlier uh, the Rossi on some bullets in 44 Russian, since it's so short in a 44 mag rifle, sometimes I would have to rack it once dry. And then rack it again. Then they all rack and feed. <laughs> it just wouldn't carry up the first one. The Marlin's okay. Well, with this bullet, the Keith 429-421, it's long. And uh, those three I tested in the Rossi racked on the first rack. And that's what I'm looking for. So, let's see what happens. All right. Okay, I don't know where these are going to hit, but we're just getting numbers. I'm guessing it'll hit low. I just don't want to hit my chronograph. So, let's see what happens. I might be too close to the chronograph. Oh, they're quiet. 674. <laughs> oh, that's funny. 709. Mm -hmm. All right, where are we hitting out there? I'm guessing low. There we go. Yeah, I aimed over it a little bit. I should look at the brass, shouldn't I? All right, where'd you go, little buddies? 
Okay, the primers look great. Last one was 678. It all rhymes. All right, aim a little high. Yeah, okay, so it's just a hair. Feeding beautiful. Uh, 685, so now we're getting numbers that are consistent. One more. Ah, that was a little too high of a name. All right. Uh, we'll bring her in. I'll show you the primers. And what was the last one? 717. Let's do our averages here. Let's set that down. Hopefully we're rolling. That was a high one, right when I was thinking. Can we get a good picture of this? All right, let's review. 685, 678, 709, 674. Okay, high was 717, bad. Low was 674. Average six, seven, uh, 692, spread 43. Standard D19, not great. That one threw everything off. I thought we were almost there, but it's quiet. Oh man, that's quiet and fun. Okay, that was a quickie. That one number threw everything off, but we're doing a lot better. In 44 Special, it was crazy numbers, unburnt powder all over the place. I am beyond the max load with a light bullet and here we are with a heavy bullet and a stout charge and I can still go further because the primers look great and we'll go from there the 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 higher the charge the less unburnt powder now if I open up a new can of Winchester 231 I'll have to start in the middle of what I'm doing here and work my way up again because this is old powder. A lot of it's been sitting in powder measures for a long time. And uh, we'll, we'll go for there. But I'm trying to uh, use up that powder and give Winchester 231 one more chance. But we got that one number. Now I took my can off and I shook it out and there was nothing in there. I looked down the barrel, there was a little unburnt powder, and that's because of the blowback from the can. And so I think if I increase another two tenths of a grain, it's gonna be a lot better. We'll get better numbers uh, with this powder. Now with red dot, I was get I got a three standard D, and that was, you know, a whole different animal. So since the primers are looking good, I'm going to keep going. There was nothing funky. It feeds beautifully. And uh, I had to aim over the swinger. I figured out I had to aim. Last shot, I aimed too high. But it is fun. Now, in editing for the camera phone outside, I'm going to have to turn that up in editing so you can hear what I'm saying. It's not it's not going to be the same quietness that I heard, okay? Because the sound's going to be turned up. This is stupid quiet. It's like a pellet gun with almost a 260 grain bullet. And it's hilarious to shoot. So I'm pretty happy. I'm almost there. Let's get a little more consistent as we go. And that's how it seems to be working out with the... Uh, different powders I tried with this. Uh, 44 Russians new to me. I still haven't shot it in a revolver, which is going to be hilarious. You know, there's no recoil at all. It's like, I don't know, a 22 Magnum. It's fun. All right. I hope you found this interesting. I'll crank up the sound in editing, but that's not what it really sounds like. Until next time, thanks for watching.